Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. We have two teams today desperately want to beat one another. It has turned into one of the great rivalry matchups around the entire National Football League. And how do you see it, Bill, before the kickoff? I'll just say it this way. I don't think they like each other a whole lot. So that, that always makes for more, more exciting football, and we're going to see how it plays out. And now, with more on today's game, let's go down to Danielle Bellini. Thanks, guys. Speaking with the players from both sides, these are two teams that obviously know each other very well. They play twice a year, so they know each other. They're familiar with each other. And with that in mind, guys, both coaches preach about the importance of being unpredictable. So watch out for some surprises on that field today. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Now ready to kick the football down the field. Shifts away. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Here's the man who leads the Lions' high-octane attack, quarterback Matthew Stafford. Matt Stafford has turned into a terrific pro. Can throw the football down the field about as well as anybody in the league. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Now first and ten. Throws to the right. A takeaway. Here comes a Super Bowl MVP quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. There's no throw on the field that Aaron Rodgers can't make. The short throws, accurate. He can be powerful when he wants to. But those deep, long play action passes down the field, he might be the best at that. First and 10. Running back gets it on the handoff. Gain of 16. Well, the offense has done a good job getting down inside the 20 in the so called red zone or green zone by some teams. But the defense, you can be a little more aggressive now because you don't have to worry about the length of the field. It is six on the board for the Packers. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The point after is good. The Packers defense once again setting up that score. Turnover points cashed in by the offense. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. The Packers lined up in the nickel. Challenging the defenders to the right side. No one in sight has the grab. Well, when you want to spy the quarterback, that's great. You might stop him from running, but look at the open people down the field. Good throw and catch by the quarterback. First and 10, they hand it off to the running back, and he'll go to the left. One of the underrated tight ends in the league is Brandon Pettigrew. Pettigrew takes advantage of the fact the receiver on his football team is Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson usually gets double team. Pettigrew's one-on-one, -on -one, and he gets the job done. It's now second down. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. He had no time to get set. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback's face. Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first. Long ball to Calvin Johnson, but it's incomplete. Good job that time by the defense. They get the fourth down situation here. They were bending a little bit, but they didn't give up the big play. Good job. The defense comes out in the nickel. Stafford in shotgun formation. Down the field. Lions are in for the score. Well, that score 
ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. can tie it up with the point after. Extra point is good. It's been an exciting game and we're tied again. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. Kickers ready to go. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. On first down. To the ground here. He'll go left. That'll stop the play right there. One of Aaron Rodgers' favorite targets is wide receiver Jordy Nelson. Uh, Jordy Nelson was on my fantasy team last year. That's right. I play fantasy football. And his performance in two weeks allowed me to beat you both times. So I love Jordy Nelson. And the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's, where you always get better ingredients, better pizza. And he was wide open. He's into the open. Touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. the Packers with an extra point try on the way. There's a flag right there. Count it. Nelson's over on the sidelines, probably still getting some praise for that last drive. He had over 70 yards receiving on that scoring drive. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down all the way. Bush is going to secure the handoff. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The defense comes out in the nickel. Stafford standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Matthew Stafford looking long, but it's incomplete. you got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. He's got the grab and he's got the first. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. First down and 10. Makes the grab. Fakes out the defender right there on the spot. 
Again, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. This play set up by the long gainer. But a flag is in there. First and 15 after the penalty. The formation here, shotgun. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made him rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second and long. Going to take off with it. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Nowadays, we see it all the time, don't we? Quarterbacks breaking contain, stepping up in the pocket, getting outside, and more and more we're seeing uh, these guys are getting better at throwing the football while on the run. That's an interception. It's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. for the defense here. First and ten. They give it to the running back. Trying to plow ahead. The Packers get a first down. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. First down here after the run. Staying with the running game on first down. And a player to watch on this starting defensive unit is Ezekiel Ansa. Yeah, they need some athletes on the defensive side for the Detroit Lions, and they got to find ways to get to the quarterback more. Ansa can help them get that done. Second down here. Another handoff. It's a five. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Now third and five after the run. Screen play is on. Catch is made. He stacked up at that point. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. That will bring us to the end of the first quarter here in Detroit, and we'll return in a moment for the start of the second quarter. Nickel formation here for the defense. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. Looking to the right side and throwing. The Packers now move the chains. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. you got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. 
tackled at the 20. So that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Second and four. Another carry here. And that's a gain of maybe five. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. First and ten. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Runs to daylight for the touchdown. You want to make your coach happy. Have the lead and have your offense just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. Extra point is good. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Matthew Stafford will be under center. First and 10, the give to the running back. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down coming up. The handoff to Reggie Bush. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. And Pettigrew's playing out of position in the backfield here. Third and 11. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sack the quarterback. Runs out of bounds. down here halfway through the second quarter and complete and he is brought down at the 45 yard line quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense sometimes they're expecting run you fake it easy completion down the field the Green Bay Packers a couple years ago won the Super Bowl last year Aaron Rodgers didn't seem to have the time to be able to repeat he just didn't have the kind of protection that you would see the Packers needing to go all the way and win it again. Aaron Rodgers, you know, it's like they say, he's the great deodorant. He could cover up a lot of smells, and he did that with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I, he needs more help. you got to give him consistent time to throw the football. If you do, he's the best quarterback in football. He'll get it done. The Lions defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. It's a second and four. Setting up a little screen. He has the grab. Moves around him. Gains 13. Jim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it. Picked up some good yards. They've got a first down now after that catch. Back to the air here on first down. Throws to the right. Secures it with two hands. 
And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Aaron Rodgers back off the line, shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? The Packers get a first down. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. We're back, and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. That reception gave them the first down. Rodgers from the shotgun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them a move, and still throw it deep down the field. This will be second down. Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Eyeing that left side. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Looks to his left, makes the catch. Good, solid tackle, short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. A short field goal try on the way. And the kick is good for three. Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position, you'd like to score a touchdown. Packers now ready to kick the football down the field. First down as they head to the line. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. And picks up the first. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Long ball to Calvin Johnson, and it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Working that left side. The reception, easy, wide open. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. Matthew Stafford looking long. That ball has been picked off. He's brought down. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Lions with a nickel look here on defense. So that's going to do it for the first half. Packers are up here in this one. 